I had to cross out something on my notebook just then because I sat down remembering that out of the two anime that I watched today, one of them uh, has been, you know, it doesn't have an episode this week and the other one does. And I got it the wrong way around. I had written on my notebook, Mushoku Tensei, that I, like, that's what we were watching. And then I uh, went to the Mushoku Tensei page and I was ready to watch it. I was like, where's the new episode? It's because Mushoku Tensei is not today, but Sound Euphonium is. So today we're doing Sound Euphonium Season 3, Episode 7. This show is possibly, uh, you know, getting into more dramatic places, but I don't know. It's, it's hard to tell if things are just like simmering or if things are about to boil. Um, I don't know if that metaphor works, but we're going to stick with it. Uh, Mayu, that's her name, right? Mayu is like all cool and great and I love her, but like it, it feels like something surrounding her is going to pop at any point now, but maybe not this episode. Maybe it'll still be further towards the end of the, the season, but I don't know. Anyway, we're going to jump into it. Make sure to support this video if you can, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Go to my Patreon account if you want the full-length early access and uh, exclusive videos for both this channel and my Gent Watches One Piece channel. And just after you finish this video, if you like my vibe, go check out some other videos on the channel. Hopefully, you'll find something else that you like. Um, I just started doing uh, My Hero Season 7. Uh, I just started doing, uh, I, I just today posting a One Piece movie on my One Piece channel. So there's lots of stuff that you can go check out. But uh, otherwise, let's jump into Sound Euphonium Season 3, Episode 7. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> タキ先生にはスパルタでビシビシやってるって言ってる。ジャギングイズギナスタップスラップシュートンズ。ライクジェイケイシモンズ。ファイト。ドラゴンを同意視するかが大変かな。お、部長っぽい発言。アイライク。
こいつが私の真似してるだけだから。Oh, キッそんなに真似したい<笑>バッカじゃないのバッカじゃないのバッカじゃないのおまいガッ一年のハリアカワイユーフォンフカサさせてもらってます。あらがじゅフェルオフィシーバウンドゥニナツキセンパイオリューマイです。ガッダムカレーユーフォンフォンフォワウ、that's awesome! Hell yeah, please do! <laughs> She's gone through character development. Yeah. <laughs> I like how. I like how both Kumiko and Natsuki understand Kanade. They're not offended by her, they get her. Ah, <laughs> uh, char just character animation is so good where I can tell what's going on from little expressions like that. <laughs> yeah. That drink looks crazy. The teachers are amazing? I was about to say. Are you gonna become a teacher? Kumiko has a lot of like imposter syndrome. Oh, you're home. Aww. That's nice. <laughs> I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> she feels extra pressure because of you. Aww. That's nice. <laughs> nice little woman there. Wow. Everyone's looking at them like they're the peak of human form. They do have matching swimsuits as well. I just realized that's fun. We'll just hang out. Or kiss or something. This is your chance. Go talk to her. Here we go. Talk. Talk about something that's not the weather. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. You, they swap top and bottoms. Oh. I'm so nervous about Mayu. Yeah, I sort of get that vibe. You're kind of just people pleasing. But Kumiko can probably relate to that right now. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of part of life. Oh. Mayu. Oh, cool shot. Welcome back. I took your seat. Mm, that shows her character right there. What do you want? And she doesn't make a decision. She just asks what other people want. And she's never in any of the photos. What you need to do is hate her, Mayu. I mean, Kumiko. Yeah, she's gonna be in a photo! No, this is good! Oh. I'm glad you made her be in a photo. Oh, cute. Yeah. Oh no, she did not bring it, did she? Oh. 
Did she do it on purpose because she didn't want the photo of her there? <laughs> oh. But also, you're our friend. It's getting. Ah, oh, I'm getting so nervous. <laughs> the tension is building. <laughs> Mayu is an incredibly interesting character because. She, she's like a horror character. <laughs> like, there's something about her that's so unsettling because she is so nice. And I don't think she's, like, necessarily faking being nice. I think she is a nice person. Um, I mean, I also have the belief, and I've said this before on this channel, but I have the belief that a lot of the time, if someone is doing good things and, like, continuously doing good things, it kind of doesn't matter their intentions. Like... If you people will always talk about oh you like a, a classic example is like oh a famous person a celebrity or whatever donates you know two million dollars to a charity and then there's like articles that's like celebrity donates two million dollars to a charity and people will be like well yeah they're just doing that because it's like good publicity for them and blah 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 right but to me I'm like it's still a good deed like even if it's good publicity even if they get something out of it even if they may not have done it because it's purely a good deed it still is money going to a charity it still is a good deed we should still be encouraging that sort of behavior i think so mayu in in mayu's case you know she's still so nice to everyone and she's still so so pleasant and and helpful um and works hard so she i i think she's a good person because she's doing constant good deeds but it's just about like what it what is she holding in and and what's that going to do eventually because the thing is kumiko at this point she wants to solve people's problems like she's she's seen people around her like fall apart by holding things in and um and w like i think she has the same feeling as the audience which is like feeling this oncoming storm and trying to slowly weather it um she's trying to stop this problem before it gets back before there is even a problem you know there isn't a problem right now but i think she has the same feeling that that a lot of us do which is there could be because she's it feels like mayu is holding back she like not term in terms of skill although maybe she is doing that as well but in terms of uh her emotions and how how she feels about everything that's going on um and we need to find out what exactly that is. But if you pry too much and if you keep prying, you might actually just bring up a problem that wasn't there in the first place. So it's a very difficult position. It's one that I don't really know a solution to because I like a lot of these sorts of shows, or you know, a, a lot of a lot of shows that have issues in similar ways to this the issues can kind of be solved by the characters sitting down and talking that's not always easy to sit down and talk but a lot of them can be solved by that happening but this show kumiko does like whenever there's even an inkling of a problem she actually does approach people and ask them what's up so it's not it's not kumiko's fault you know she is doing everything she can so it's not up to that. It's more about like, if there is a problem, it's not one that they're just going to talk about easily. Um, and so, yeah, it's it's very difficult. The, man, the idea of like, okay, so she feels like she doesn't have a proper sense of self. Um, and, you know, because of that, maybe she doesn't have proper drive. Maybe she doesn't really understand, you know, like the passion going on around her fully. Um, she doesn't seem like right now she's not the type to cry over getting the part or not getting the part or whatever she's just kind of being a people pleaser right now maybe to her own detriment it's still unclear to say um but i think kumiko wants to spark passion inside of her and we don't know how to how to do that exactly and then, speaking of having no sense of self, because of that, she doesn't like to be in photos and stuff. Kumiko gets her to be in a photo, and she seemed kind of happy about it at the time. I mean, it's hard to read Mayu, but it, it seemed like she was happy that Kumiko 
invited her to be in the photo or whatever, but then she didn't bring the photo and she said it didn't develop properly, which I'm suspicious of. Um, I, I feel like she, you know, didn't like it. She was maybe embarrassed by it or maybe she was like, I, I mean, I, I definitely know people like that who don't like to be in, in photos. Um, and so they, you know, they'll purposefully not be. And then if there's photos of them, they'll delete them or they'll, uh, try to get others to delete them or they'll try to ignore them or whatever. And I understand, I, I understand sort of, uh, being self-conscious and, um, and it's a hard thing. Like I, it's not for me to, to talk about fully because as you can see, I have hundreds, if not thousands of videos on the internet of me <laughs> and, um, and I've got a lot of photos of me and, and all that. I mean, I have to take photos of myself for thumbnails and stuff. Um, so, you know, I don't, I don't love my own appearance, but I have slowly not almost numbed myself to it. I think I can still recognize when there's a good photo of me and when there's a bad one and stuff. But, um, generally if there's a bad photo of me, it doesn't bother me. Um, and if I look a little weird, I can kind of just be like, oh, well, whatever. Um, but I, I am the sort of person who I like having photos and videos of experiences. And I like photos and videos of other people in these experiences and of myself in things with other people. Because like, I know some people say like, don't take photos, live in the moment or whatever and stuff. But sometimes I am living in the moment and I have these memories, but what photos and videos and, and stuff do is they like spark these memories again and they like bring them to, uh, to this sort of greater feeling like, I've got these pictures. I mean, you can't really see them right now, but they're they're like Polaroids, right? You can see right there. So I've got them on my whiteboard and they're from my 20th, 21st? They're from my 21st birthday party, which was, I don't know, five, five or six years ago at this point. I can't remember how old I am. <laughs> um, so like they, that was a party that was like, that was probably the most, <clears throat> I'm not choking up. I'm actually just choking. <laughs> um, I know it sounds like I'm getting emotional, but you know when I'm getting emotional. Um, that was probably the most, uh, I don't know, party party that I've, I've ever had. Like it was, it was the most, uh, I guess, personal, crazy, good party that I've had. Um, and, uh, and I really had fun that night, you know, like all of my closest friends were there. Um, my partner at the time was there. I was just in a, I was in a good place. There was like a lot of things like as someone who, you know, I'm kind of egotistical again, I have a YouTube channel and there's a part of me that has an ego. Um, but, uh, but I, you know, had, uh, there was like trivia about me there, you know, there were like videos that I had, I had made playing in like a. It was in like a bar that had like a theater connected to it, like a mini, a tiny little like projector s section. Um, and it had like videos of mine that were playing on it and then like little trivia things about me. And it was just, it was a lot of fun, right? I love that night. And I remember the night, sure. But when I look at those photos over there, there's a reason I have them up there. I look at the photos and it, it brings me back to the night even more. So because of that, when I look at someone like Mayu who doesn't like to be in photos, I understand that it might be difficult, but I do also think like for some people like me, having those memories with you in them is, is so important. I, I think, you know, it's, it helps, it helps other people. Photos aren't just for you. They're, they're for, they're for everyone. And, and it's a very, nice comfortable feeling when you have someone you care about so like if i was kumiko and i had mayu and i cared about her i i want to be able to remember the time that i had with her and if i look at a photo of her and i together it's going to give me like warm feelings of and fond feelings that i'll be able to take with me into the future so it's sad to me that that either either she's telling the truth and the photo didn't develop in which case her reaction to it just being like, oops, sorry to everyone else is interesting because it's like that, you know, it was the only photo with you in it. 
So you should be a little more upset about that, obviously. Um, and you clearly weren't. Um, or if, as I suspect, she's not telling the truth and she actually is just self-conscious about it or whatever, then, um, then I forgot where I was going with it. <laughs> then that's really sad that, you know, she, she doesn't feel like she can bring it and show other people because then everyone else is sort of missing out on that aspect of her. So anyway, um, that's it. That's all I want to talk about this episode, I think. So, um... Oh yeah, no. Oh, also, Kumiko becoming a teacher, like the, that whole idea. I think that would be a good job for her. You know, if she didn't want to go, like, I mean, it kind of seems perfect her becoming like the new Taki. So, um, so that kind of feels like where her character might go. Like she might go to a music school or whatever, but actually learn to be a music teacher. Uh, that would be quite beautiful. But I liked, I liked the way they were sort of setting that up and and her saying like, "Wow, teachers are amazing, huh?" Like it just seems really nice that she seems to look up to the profession a little bit more anyway that is sound euphonium season three episode seven thank you so much for joining me make sure to support this video and this channel if you can liking commenting subscribing comment down below your thoughts on these characters and these situations um and make sure to uh, go to my patreon account if you want the full length early access and exclusive videos for both this channel and my gent watches one piece channel i will see you next time goodbye